Hey everyone, it's Amanda and welcome back to another episode of Sketchbook Sessions. Now today's video is something a little bit different because as you can tell I'm wearing red and that's because we're going to be drawing Wonder Woman in honor of the Wonder Woman film coming out this weekend. I believe it actually came out already but nonetheless it's opening weekend and when I saw the trailer for this film I immediately was so excited for this to come out because it's all about girl power, it's directed by a woman, so I'm all about it and I can't wait to see it. So that's what we're going to be tackling today in the sketchbook. By no means am I a comic book illustrator, I've actually haven't done that many comic book illustrations before in my life, so this is definitely going to be interesting. But I'm going to try my hardest to do Gal Gadot justice because she is literally the perfect person to be cast for Wonder Woman, so we gotta do it well, guys. I did have a couple of other things I wanted to mention. If you like my art or my drawings, I do have a specific Instagram for my artwork. It's just Amanda Rach Doodles. And if you didn't know, I also started a second channel where I post vlogs and other miscellaneous stuff. So if you wanna see more of my life, you can just subscribe to youtube.com slash Amanda Rach Life. But I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to hand you over to the voiceover now. All right, so as I mentioned, I am definitely not a comic book illustrator, and I also am not very good at drawing bodies yet. It's definitely something that I need to practice on. As you can tell here, I really did struggle getting the proportions correct, so I had to keep erasing it and redoing it. Basically trial and error. Definitely need to work on that. So I will do more exercises on uh, bodies and the human figure in the future. But for now, I went with something neutral because, I mean, ideally it would be cool to draw like a dynamic action pose, but obviously you need to be a lot better at drawing bodies to do that. So I decided to go with something more simple, but it still has like a strong stance to it. Definitely had to give her a little bit more muscles than I usually would for a female figure, which is awesome because girls can be strong and muscular too. Uh, as you can tell right now, I'm adding a little bit of shading. I decided to go with um, not a completely loose sketchy style. I wanted it to be a little bit more finished than what I usually do just because, I don't know why, <laughs> just because. One of my favorite parts was drawing the costume onto the figure because as a child, I always loved to pretend to be a fashion designer. So this kind of felt like I was doing that. So you'll see that I had a reference picture. So I did a costume similar to the one in the movie. I'm not exactly sure what the like traditional comic book costume was, but this one is just the one that Gal Gadot wears. I do know there's a ton of different variations of costumes. So do not come for me. I just went based on the picture. Since I already know I'm gonna get a ton of questions asking me what I'm using, the pencil that I'm using is just the Pentel 0.3 mechanical lead pencil. I love using this pencil for sketching because it's so thin, so you can really get tiny, fine little details, and it's awesome. So I will link it down below if you're interested in it. This is, if you ever see me using a pencil, this is always what I'm using. Another question I get asked a lot is how I learned to draw or how I improved my drawing. And I actually did go to an art program in high school, but before that, I had still been drawing a ton and I didn't take any private lessons. So basically just sitting at home, drawing, doodling at any time, practicing a lot. I know I hate when people tell me that practice makes perfect, but it's so true. And it's really the only thing that I can tell you guys is to just practice and practice doing a lot of different things. And I actually think it's very evident in this drawing that I practice a lot drawing faces because when I was drawing the face for this drawing, I did it so quickly and I didn't really have to erase that much. But when I was drawing the body, I pretty much redid it about seven times. So eventually as I get better drawing bodies and figures, I won't have to redo things quite as often. All right, so next step, or the last step to this drawing is the hair. This is my absolute favorite part to do. It just kind of brings everything together, especially since Wonder Woman has such dark, iconic hair. So I wanted the hair to kind of look like it's flowing in the wind. So I didn't want to add too many hair strokes. It just kind of wanted to look like one solid mass. And I really liked the way that it turned out. It really did bring everything together 
and made it look more finished. By the way, in the thumbnail, if you're wondering how I added color to the drawing, I just scanned it and imported it into Photoshop and then added color on top with a different blend mode layer. Maybe if you guys are interested, I can do a video on digital painting and drawing and coloring and all of that stuff. I'm definitely not an expert, but I do have some knowledge on it. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know just in case you were wondering why I didn't color in the drawing in person. I did it on the computer in post, so don't stress. <laughs> But that's pretty much it guys, our Wonder Woman drawing is complete. As you can see, I'm just adding a couple little final details, making the shadows darker, all the good stuff. But other than that, it's done, and I think it turned out pretty well. I'm actually kind of impressed with myself because I did not have high expectations going into this. But here is the final scanned image. I hope you guys liked this drawing. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Alright guys, so that's it for this episode of Sketchbook Sessions. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, share it with a strong woman in your life because this video is all about girl power, so go do that. Um, it would also be super awesome if you guys could share it with the Wonder Woman Twitter or Instagram. Maybe we can get them to see it. That'd be super cool as well. But I really hope you guys liked this video. I know it's something a little bit different than what I normally do, but I can definitely do more in the future if you guys want. But I think that's pretty much it. So have an awesome day. I love you so much and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.